How is everybody doing? Knocking out some of these trailer reactions that people have suggested and whatnot. Uh, had one last week that was on the table, but it kind of got sidetracked because like I did a few trailer reactions and kind of ran out of time. But I'm going back to it because it seems like it may be promising. So we'll see what this is. It's called The Tomorrow War. And don't know a lot about this. Don't know a lot about who's in it and not, but this is going to be one of those brand new things. And that's like, that's what I try to like bring to you guys. It's like fresh takes. Like this is true. My true reaction of seeing this trailer uh, and whatnot. Some of them are great. Some of them are good. Some of them are funny. Some of them are serious and some of them ain't good at all. So we'll find out on this one right here and what it's going to be the tomorrow war. Okay. None of you are my, so it's a prom video movie. Chris Pratt, that's promising. Nah, man, it ain't never good when somebody messes with the TV. What the hell? We are fighting a war 30 years in the future. Is this a joke? Our enemy is not human. We need you to fight. You got drafted. Wow. I will be back. Why is this happening? What this is, is actually kind of cool. So I guess they the coming back in time fight. and tell it, warning people, you have to stand up. You have to fight against these guys. If you don't, we're going to lose. You and Mary will be taken care of. If something happens to you, Dan, 70% of draftees do not return. Sometimes a man does what's best for his family, not himself. Sometimes he does. Sure, please. So what's this for? It's just a test. Oh, a seatbelt. Was it a driving test? No, you don't have jokes in the future? They obviously don't have jokes, Chris. This device facilitates your jump to and from the future war. One minute to jump. Oh, here, buddy. Take that. You just look around like that. Are you so calm? Long story. Yeah, ex military? Yeah. Kind of a short story, I guess. Three, <laughs> two, one. That's funny, that's funny. In 11 months' time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the earth. That's cool. So they're going back in time to get more soldiers to have a chance to win this fight. That's cool concept. I'm liking the concept. I'm my daughter. I gotta save. Not that far away. It comes out in a second of July. This is the end. The human species will disappear from the face of the earth. We are literally living on borrowed time. Okay, I'm. Um, chance that we can stop this war from ever happening. This looks pretty interesting. Uh, the premise is interesting. Oh, I think I just shot the first shot of the aliens. Well, nice what the me. hell? Oh, that's badass looking, dude. Good job on the effects, but I don't really... The one thing I don't like about this trailer is that... Well, it may be happening now. Maybe happening now. I thought it was ending. What's happening? Oh, oh. What is that? Oh, damn, dude. All right, so I got to see the alien. That's what I was about to comment on, but I did get to see the alien right there at the end. It 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 looks pretty legit. That movie looks hey, look, but I will say this though, the little glimpse that I did see of the alien it looked sort of similar to like the the, the not the alien, I guess they are aliens too, as possible. But the creatures from a, a quiet place and a quiet place too. So I don't know if their creature design is very like creative but i do like the way that they're going about this like it it's a really simple premise really and it's and it, i i don't remember seeing uh too many movies with this kind of an idea where like the humans are coming back and i, I know like terminator has humans coming back in time to try to stop certain things from happening on like a smaller scale but this is like the first time i can remember where they going back in time and recruiting, recruiting humans from in the past to go to the jump to the future with them so that they can have a fighting chance because most of humanity has already been almost wiped out. It's a pretty cool little premise. I, I'm going to give it a chance. Uh, like I said, guys, if you will like to subscribe, comment in the bottom for me, if you can, man, all it does is help me out. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you comment and put something in there that maybe I've missed or whatever, as far as reactions or maybe even a review of a movie that you want me to do or whatnot, because I am going to start doing reviews of movies. I did the quiet place too. I'm going to try to do it the movies that I do actually have going seen in the theater. I might do The Conjuring 3. Might go see that at the theater uh, and give you a, a guys a review on that. 
I might jump back and do some older movies if I get more people like asking for it and whatnot. So let's see what goes on, man, and what happens from there. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and been supporting, man. And to each and every one of you, my heart goes out to you. That's the only reason why I do this stuff. And even though it, we, I don't get these huge amount of views, like, you know, the 25 to 50 to 60 people that watch some of these things, uh, y'all have my heart, man, because y'all are willing to sit here and, like, you know, have fun with me during these times and doing uh, these reactions and stuff. And just thank you with everything I've got. Thank you very much. Till next time. Peace.